There is bread here for all who hunger. There is a place set for all who thirst. This table is set by Jesus. He is the host here. This is the table of new life in Christ, the table of fresh starts, new beginnings. It is the table of communion, communion with generations long past and those yet to come. This table does not belong to this or any church, but to our Lord. So come if you have much faith, and come if you would like to have more. Come if you have been often, and come if you have not been for a long, long time. Come if you have tried to follow Jesus, and come if you have failed. If you long for the opportunity to begin afresh, to live anew, come. Bring what you are, and bring what you wish to be. Bring your doubts, your fears, your anxieties. Bring your hopes, your dreams, your faith. Bring it all and bring yourself to this table because Christ invites us to meet him here and here you will find him. Come to the table. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy God, we praise you for your love, bringing order out of chaos, breathing life into dust, leading captives into freedom, consuming false idols with holy fire calling wandering children home, giving bread to the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, raising the dead to life. We give you thanks for Jesus Christ, word made flesh, light of the world, living water, shepherd and gate, way and truth and life. Remembering your gracious acts, we offer our lives to you in service and praise as we keep the feast that Christ prepares, taking this bread and this cup from the gifts of your creation, joyfully celebrating Christ's presence and reconciling love, joining our voices with the faithful of every time and place who sing to the glory of your name. Gracious God, now pour out your Holy Spirit among us in this bread, in this cup, in your people, 
one in the body, one in the blood, one with Christ, one in mission, one in ministry. In this place, in every place, in this world, in the world to come. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty God, now and forever. And now with the confidence of the children of God, we pray as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On the night he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, take, eat, this is my body broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Whenever you drink this cup, do this in remembrance of me. And so it is that every time we eat this bread, every time we drink from this cup, we do proclaim our risen Lord's saving death until he comes again. Communion will be served by intinction. You'll exit your pew to your right, come forward, take first a piece of bread, then dip the bread into the cup to receive communion and return by the left aisle. If you prefer to be served in your pew, elders will bring the elements to you. The elders may now come forward. The feast is prepared. Taste and see that the Lord is good.
Gracious God, you have gathered us, now send us. Send us as salt and light, water in the desert, manna in the wilderness. Lord Jesus Christ, you have put your very life into our hands. Now we place our lives in your hands. Renew us and remake us. Send us, lead us, take us with you. Amen. <laughs>